breaking news on the Mueller report. We have just learned that we will see it on Thursday morning. We are learning from the Justice Department that this will be a release, a redacted release to Congress and to the public. What will they redact? We have some thoughts and some reporting on grand jury testimony per the rules and regulations. And then those other three lanes, classified and such, that Attorney General William Barr has been laying out all along, redactions along those lines. And it won't just be Congress. It'll be the public that gets to see what he releases Thursday morning. A big week. This news breaking now. Uh, let's talk about this on Outnumbered. Thank you for watching, everybody. So we have Brian Brinberg, who is visiting with us today in the center seat. Uh, what do you think about this news? <laughs> well, it's nice to know when it's going to come out. I mean, now we have a timeline. People are preparing and preparing. To what do be we able need to, to do to prepare to get the truth? Well, it's actually funny. I mean, how are you going to read it? There, there, you've got 400 pages. One person going to read it cover quickly. to cover. You're going to have people. Yeah, well, right. Listen, how you fast very you quickly. Read? I'll take the next 50. <laughs> but I mean, this is the point. You're going to have a team of people reading it, and they're going to say, "Oop, found something here. Where does that go? It goes to Twitter. So we're going to get all these early rounds of reporting oh, you think on it's bits. Go like that. And yeah, of course it is. Yeah, it is going to. People be a are race. never going to be yeah. able to resist like kind yes. of throwing the piece out, which is why I'm not sure you want to listen to a lot of commentary. Maybe until two, three days later, once somebody's actually gone through cover to cover. That'll like, be Easter Sunday, so maybe not. Hmm. There's better things to do Easter Sunday. There's better things to celebrate Talk, talk about, Sunday. you know, so, dinner conversation, right? Oh, no. My, my question for you, Capri Cafaro, <laughs> not that you're the only Democrat we know, but you're the only one on the couch today. Thanks. And you can't speak for everybody, but I, you've been saying all along, let's just get the truth out there and let right. the chips fall where they may. If this does not further show, the Mueller report redacted, that there should be any more indictments or anything else coming legally against the president, his campaign team, or anybody else, is this the po point? like frozen style democrats let it go uh, it's not going to happen i mean i wish it would because i think we have so many issues that we need to address whether they are you know issues of health care immigration there are real issues that congress needs to take up that's not to say that they do not have you know a constitutional authority and duty for oversight those things are important um but i you know i think that because we're approaching uh you know a presidential election cycle we're already in the midst of that i think that politics unfortunately is going to rain mm. the day on both sides because you know on on one hand we're going to see democrats for example pursuing things like the tax returns or the emoluments clause and then on the flip side you have the republicans saying we want to investigate everybody else um you know and get to the bottom they of don't want to investigate everybody else they want to know how this yeah. report started they want to make sure that if americans are facing the long right. arm and strong and arm of the law and that they're consistent on treated this, but... fairly and if right. there was something nefarious that kicked off right. that anti-trump dossier or and the, the, and the situation and the American people need to know that exactly. too. Exactly. So it's not but, that Republicans are investigating everybody else. I just fact check you on that. Uh, I mean, fair, but the, well, I guess my point is this: is that you know you're going to end up seeing investigations being continuing from both Democrats and Republicans. So it's kind of status quo. Yeah, Kennedy. Uh, I think Brian's actually right. I think it's going to be a race for everyone to get their hot take out. Uh, the risk there yeah. is that you end up with misinformation like Jesse Smollett and mm. the Covington Catholic High School case, you know, the, Nick Sandman. And, you know, that reporting, that, that insta-hot take reporting uh, can, can be very dangerous. So I think people are best to sit down and read the thing themselves. There will be plenty of yep. PDFs. You know, don't, don't waste time. So you know what you're time. talking about? You're talking about where we are right now, which is a really sad state of affairs because I don't have a problem with insta-hot reporting. We call it breaking news. What I have a problem with is insta-hot reporting through 99 prisms that don't resemble the truth. Right. Right. Absolutely well, and, right. And, and what about, oh, why wasn't this in Barr's initial report? Look at this here. Where was that? And why was Does Barr Adam not Schiff show us the evidence that nobody else on the planet has ever seen of collusion yet? That, that we know of. I mean, maybe it's in the report and William Barr missed it. Uh, I don't know. But all along, he said that there is evidence of collusion. Yeah, I, I, I'm willing to bet it solves absolutely nothing. If Judge mm -hmm. Anna Napolitano is right that 25% of the 400 pages or anything close to that is redacted, then everybody will be sure that what they need to see is underneath the black. That's exactly there the problem. Go. And right. that's exactly the problem.